Hi, my name is Dr. David Moini Masende. I'm the Minister for Basic and Senior Secondary Education for Sierra Leone and the Chief Innovation Officer as well for the Government of Sierra Leone. I've been recently appointed to serve as the Chair of the Advisory Board for the GEM Report to UNESCO. It's a privilege and honor to serve in this capacity. And on this particular day, October 5th, World Teachers Day, I am honored to send a message to our colleagues who are teachers who serve us every day. Teachers are critical in all times, but particularly during these COVID times, it's become important and we've been able to understand that teachers and teaching cannot be overstated. The value of teachers and teaching cannot be overstated. We've seen how teachers have continued providing learning remotely. We've seen how teachers have to reinvent and relearn new skills such that they can continue to provide education service delivery. We've seen how the combination of radio, hard materials, learning materials, and TV and online learning have become mainstay. We've seen how teachers who are also care providers generally, how their role of care provision have been underscored and understated, particularly as we reopen schools during COVID. Um, in Sierra Leone, we open schools partially um, at some point when we had a crisis at our hands, when the numbers were very high. And the role of teachers was very important in terms of making sure that our children are safe, they are protected, and they continue learning. And when we opened schools for about five weeks, we had zero transmission of COVID. Again, thanks to our teachers who are our frontline workers. Our teachers have been frontline workers and they will continue to be frontline workers. So as we in the world get used to this new mainstay, we must understand that we cannot support our teachers more than we get you caught in. So we must understand um, that as teachers, so we must understand that as policymakers, as global leaders, as, ad as advocates, teachers play a critical and central role in everything that we do, not just from our classrooms, but for national development and for resilience and for how we rebound um, as a world. So today I want to share my profound appreciation and acknowledgement and thanks to all the teachers everywhere, those from Sierra Leone to Kathmandu, from Kathmandu to Khartoum to Johannesburg to every other region around this world. Um, we thank you for your service. We appreciate you. We see you and we see the sacrifice that you're made, that you're making. And for us in Sierra Leone, one of the things that we're looking for, we're looking forward to is really the implementation of hybrid learning and teaching methodologies where teaching is continuous from the classroom to the home, to the radio, to the TV, where teachers are given continuous professional development such that they are able to learn and also get professional development from the radio. The radio teaching program is not just for the pupils, but it's also for the teachers, where we supply radio materials and we give the teachers those radio um, content and we give the teachers those digital devices such that they can continue to upskill because if we want to compete in the 21st century, we want to develop problem solvers, we have to have our teachers get the, the right training and the right resources um, for them to be able to learn themselves and be critical 21st century problem solvers such that they can facilitate and impact that to our children. And that's what it is. We have to be able to support our teachers now and into the future such that they themselves are able to, re to respond they themselves are able to be resilient and they themselves are able to adapt to the realities that will meet us such that our children can continue learning. Thank you very much and happy World Teachers Day.